Hello friends, welcome back to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question which is asked in Happy Estimate. Okay, before getting into question, right? So let me give you some notification. Okay, so on Feb 3rd and 4th, we are going to conduct seminars on ETL testing. So in this seminars, we are going to discuss about the ETL course training as well as what is the duration as well as if you wanted to become an ETL tester, what are the things which you have to learn other than technical skills? Okay, we are going to even discuss about the how to approach for the interview as well as, you know, how much time it is needed for to become an ETL tester. Most of the people will teach you just 30 days, 40 days, okay, which is not going to be sufficient actually. So I wanted to let you know how you have to approach for the especially any training, right? Especially not only ETL testing. Okay, if you wanted to become a good at it, okay, you have to spend some time. Okay, those details also I'm going to discuss. And as well as we are going to discuss what is the average salary of ETL. And now people are thinking, okay, whether if I learn ETL, is it going to be useful for my future career as well? Okay, so suppose if you are ETL learning today, okay, after two to three years, okay, once you got experience, very good experience in that, Okay, how these particular skills which is going to be useful for your career, those things also I'm going to discuss. Okay, and even if you have attended in, even if you have attended other training institutes, okay, please join us. Okay, if you are looking for the, especially for the interview process, how to clear the interview, how I can clear the interview, those the details also I'm going to explain in those seminars, February 3rd and 4th. Okay, and then after that, we are going to start on the classes. Okay, tentative date would be 7th. We are going to start our actual classes. Okay, from there onwards, we are going to continue 60 hours dedicated classes. So, now let's get into the question here. So, write an SQL query to fetch the below output. Okay, here we have an input here. Okay, here 1, 2, 3, colon mark Jayanagar as well as slash fourth block pin code 560103 and output should be Jayanagar. Okay, not in this size. Okay, let me give you simple Jayanagar should be there. So by understanding this question, right, what is the starting point here? Colon is the starting point and ending point will be hash. Okay, now how you can approach this? So if you are working with Oracle, right, it's very straightforward what you can do. Okay, let me give you what is the substring as well as instring functions. So substring function, what it does, it is going to take multiple parameters. For example, here you have a string, Ravindra Reddy. Okay, from Ravindra Reddy, if you wanted to extract Ravindra only, so how you can extract by providing the starting position to until eighth position. So you can understand here, R starts for, from first and A ends with eight. So you can provide the starting position and any position. Let me execute this here. So you can see here, Ravindra is coming. Now, at the same time, here, what instring does? Instring is the one which is going to identify the position of that particular string. So let me give you here, ramravindra at gmail.com. So here, if you wanted to identify at symbol, at symbol first occurrence, how you can do that? See here, instring takes multiple parameters. First, here you see, in string and this is nothing but a string or column name okay once you provide that and within that you wanted to identify the at symbol and from where from first position okay from here r2 until end okay then what is the occurrence it is going to be first occurrence which you wanted to identify so you can see here at symbol is present in 12th position 12th position now our use case is our use case is very simple okay select sub str Okay, now you want it what? One, two, three. Okay, so if you wanted to represent string, you can keep it in single quotes. Now, Jayanagar. Okay, Jayanagar. Okay, then on top of it, what you have here? You have a hash symbol. Okay, then after that, you can mention fourth block. Okay, fourth block. And then 560103. Okay, just keep it. That is simple. Okay, 103. Now, here you can see. Okay, you can mention even comma here. Okay, comma here. And within the single quotes, you are mentioning this. So this is considering it is an entire entire string is, is a single string. Okay, now if you wanted to fetch from where, you wanted to fetch from where colon symbol is present. Now simply what you can do by, you know, in string how it works. 
just you can provide this particular thing, whatever the string which I have kept here, same string, you can keep it here. And what you want, what you wanted to identify colon. And then here you can see one comma one, one comma one. Then what it happens? Okay, let me let me show you how it works. Okay, now in string, what it does in string, it is going to provide the starting position, starting position of your string extraction. Okay, part of the string you wanted to extract. Now from dual. Okay, now if you do that, automatically what it happens from here, it is going to extract. Okay, from here, it is going to extract. Now you can see here, including colon also, it is extracting. Now, if you wanted to remove the colon by just simply, you can provide the plus one arithmetic operation. From this, it is going to extract the position of this uh, colon. So if you plus, if you do automatically, it is going to go with the next char next character. Nothing but a, here you can see Jayanagar, it is going to start. Now, now next thing is what in the question, what they have asked in the next thing, what they have asked here, you can see here, Jainagar. So you want after uh, including hash symbol, it should be removed to until end. Now, how you can do that? So you have to provide the even end string as well, end, end position as well. Now, how you can do that? How you can do that? Now here, within the substring only, you, you have given starting position. Now you have to provide the ending position as well. How you can do that? So if you wanted to identify the end position, so simply you can use the same string, but here, what you wanted to identify, you wanted to identify the hash symbol. If you hash symbol and you do minus one, minus one. Now let me execute this query, what it is going to happen. Here you can see, if you execute the query, why it is coming this fourth block, okay? So by default, what it is happening, right? If you identify here, okay? If you identify this position, what it happens, it ha it is going to provide the, let me show you. Okay, let me show you separately. Then you will understand in detail. Select, okay, from dual. Okay, from dual. Now you can see, first one, it is providing the 14th position. And first one, what it is doing, let me show you. Okay, let me show you first one as well. Then, here you can see, First one, okay. First one, it is showing fourth character, okay. Fourth position. From fourth position, okay. If you can give fourth comma fourteen, okay, it is going to consider from four to four to next to fourteen characters. Next fourteen characters. So next fourteen characters. That is the reason you see in the output you are even getting the hash and additional four characters which you are getting. So to remove that, how you have to do whatever you have done, right? Whatever you have done here, you have to minus this position. You have to minus this position. So if you do, then automatically what it is going to happen, you are able to get the, you are able to get the proper output, proper output. Now you can open here bracket and here you can end the bracket. Now you can see here, you will be able to get the output. You will be able to get the output. So let me give you the steps, step step by step. First, okay, you can use the substring, okay, part of the string which is going to extract substring. How it works, okay. If you give the string, okay, give string input string, okay, input string, and then starting position, okay, and ending position, okay. So how you can identify the position? If you wanted to identify the specific character position, you are going to use the in string. In string, what it does, it is going to take the input string. Okay, input string. And then what is the character you wanted to identify? Okay, character, which character you wanted to identify? Then from where you wanted to identify, from which position, first position, and which occurrence, it is going to be first occurrence. So you have done this. Okay, so for that, what you have done, here you have given the starting position by providing the in string. So if you, if you don't want to include this colon, then you are providing the arithmetic operation, arithmetic operation. After that, what you wanted to identify, you wanted to identify the end position, end position. If you directly do that, automatically what it is going to give, it is going to give you the end position, end position character. But here, what it is the important end position character, if you give, it is going to identify the end position character where which position it is available the that particular character but it is going to take from fourth it is going to take 
from fourth fourth nothing but a here i'm saying whatever the starting string which you have identified right from where you wanted to start it is going to start from four and it is going to take additional 14 which means it is going to go with the until 14 so to avoid that what you have to do you have to remove you have to minus the starting position so that you are going to get the exact exact thing which you are looking for so that is the reason i have used here in string two times and first is i have identified the where hash ml is present and now from that i'm minus okay what i have minus i have minus the starting position so that i'm going to get the exact position from starting position to until which character i wanted to extract okay so that is the thing you can see jayanagar is present here thank you guys please subscribe the channel and share with others as well